up next is a lightweight bout between Ally Quinta and James, the Texecutioner vet. James Vick makes his way out of the tunnel, and he looks ready to go. This guy has great hands, Mike. He's trained extensively on his boxing skills and has beautiful, clean technique with his punches. Great power in his hooks, good stiff jab, and he defends well. He keeps his chin down, and he doesn't leave a lot of openings when he's throwing shots. Jim Spence is set for tonight's fight. <laughs> Alaya Quinta. Coming off a great training camp, he is very well prepared, extremely focused, and ready to run right through his opponent. This guy has great conditioning, Mike. His teammates all talk about the work he puts in in the gym. He is just a cardio machine. He never seems to get tired. And one thing we can count on is that the deeper this fight goes, the more the odds are going to swing in his favor. L.A. Quinta enters the octagon here in Los Angeles, California. Take for this lightweight fight. Iaquinta is 28. Vic is 29. He will have a six-inch reach advantage. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. She is the first fighting at the three point. A boxer with a professional record of nine wins, one loss. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting at a James, the Texecutioner! And now with Bruce's opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is an ex martial artist, a professional right now. 12 wins, 3 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Long Island, New York, USA, Raging! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, our referee. Go, Mike Goldberg, ready? Joe Rogan. We are Let's set go, to get on. things started. Tonight's fight is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. James Vick's got a huge reach advantage in tonight's fight, Joe. Reach advantages, when used correctly, are one of the best advantages to have in mixed martial arts. You can hit your opponent, and they can't hit you. Oh, oh nice wow. body kick. Very good job of timing these shots here. Nice block of the punch to the head. Clean punch. Joe Strong, right-left combo by Iaquinta. And he looks for the takedown. Iaquinta gets the double leg. He's back in the full guard now. Iaquinta's got it back in half guard now. Taking his back now. Just over three now. A mount, the mount. Full mount. Not good. Look at this. He's out of it. And he turns it around into full guard. And he's back in the guard. Into the full guard. Able to posture up. Ike Quinta gets it back in his guard. 
Nice movement on the ground. In full guard here. Good elbow by Iron Punta. Now he moves to his back. There he goes. Back to Jumping mount out. again. He hip escapes from the full mount. Man, he's got the reversal. Excellent movement here on the ground. Trying to pass here into side control. Can't make it. Forty-five seconds. Just thirty seconds remain in the round. Twenty seconds. Throws a hammer at him. Fit gets it to half guard. Beautiful sweep. Round one is complete. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Incredible highlights in that round. Deep breath in. All right, here's some water. Ready? And the lovely Brittany gets us started for round number two. Here we go, second round, you ready? You ready? Let's Here we go, go, round two. And there's a nice straight by pick. Good roundhouse kick to the midsection. Nice kicks. Aya Quinta with a good jab. He's doing a great job of timing these shots. Thick with a good punch. Good leg kick. Oh, very nicely back and forth. Hey, Quinta gets the single leg. Oh, beautiful sweep. Full mount. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Strong left by Aya Quinta. Gigs unable to pass. Postured up and threw it down with force. shot good control postures up excellent movement and transitions here on the ground staying busy and he reverses position hard hook team fix got the reach advantage in this fight but he hasn't used it effectively he definitely could be doing a far better job of utilizing his natural reach advantage and doing a far better job of placing himself out of range of his opponent's shots Done. He's in north-south position. Back to half guard now. Now he's back into full guard. Solid punch by Ayakunta. Oh, big right hand. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Looking for the arm bar. Can he finish his fight? Throws the leg over the face. Now he's got to extend his body. And he's out of the arm bar. Ah, nice sweep. Very good movement. He's mounted him. Round number 
number two complete. And here we go. Let's take a look at some of this action here. And here's a big shot that almost ends this fight. And here we see some really technical offense with submissions. And let's go to a different angle. Incredible highlights in that round. That eye is swollen terribly. I'm shocked if you can see anything at all out of it. The lovely Ariani here tonight inside Staples Center in Los Angeles, here California. You ready? You ready? Five go. minutes remain in the fight. Now starting off this round, you've got to think that the barrage that he endured in that last round is still affecting him. He's going to want to start this round off and move and avoid taking any damage. A nice block and a good counter by Ryan Pinto. And a big leg kick. I Quinton caught by that head kick. I have Quinton's eyes looking really swollen. Now. You've got to wonder whether or not it's actually a fractured orbital. Oh, there he connected. Look at this. And a nice one-two with the right and the left. And he eats a kick. I have Quinton with a good jab. He's doing a great job of being unpredictable and mixing things up here. In full guard now. Aya Quinta's trying to get past the half guard. Transitions back to full guard. Aya Quinta gets it to half guard. Oh, he gets reversed. Wow, look at that. How good is that? Uh oh. He keeps busy from the bottom. Postured up. He connects with a big punch from the top. Excellent work from the bottom by Aya oh, Big shot from the top. He's hurt. Oh, he's hurt. That's it. That's it. That's it. The fight is over. TKO victory. He was not intelligently defending himself. Too many big shots get through, and that's the end of the fight. Time now for our fight replay. We can see it here from another look. These are clean shots that are getting in over and over again. Ground and pound for the TKO finish. And here it is from a different angle. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop for this contest at 3 minutes, 33 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by TKO, James the Executioner, Ben. James Vick, your winner by TKO.